morning guys welcome back to another video if you're new here hello my name is becca i am currently in a rush right now it is sunday the day after halloween i am completely exhausted from this Halloween week i had i guess you could say some people call it Halloween weekend but i swear i had like a entire week filled with halloween activities so i woke up this morning and just did my daily morning routine things i did not go to the gym today but i am currently going to the Melrose Trading Post here in West Hollywood, if you were not from LA. The Trading Post is like a clothing fair or I don't really know what you would call it, but it's like every Sunday and there's a bunch of vendors that go. There's so many different things there, but it's really fun to just walk around. So I'm going to go with Jake and our friends. So I'm currently in a rush. All right, so I just finished my makeup. I figured I'd show you what I'm wearing again. Like every other outfit that I feel like I've been wearing recently, this outfit is completely from Sheen. But it is very hot out today, so I needed to wear something that was fitting to be comfortable in walking around at the trading post. So I'm gonna hit the road, go pick up everyone from Jake's, and then I will see you there. Back at Jake's, it is dinner time now. It's about 6.30. I didn't get anything at the trading post, so I didn't really feel like it was necessary to keep filming, but we are doing a family dinner tonight. I am cooking chicken ziti broccoli alfredo, salad, crescent rolls. This is by far the largest bowl of, <laughs> look how big this bowl is. It's huge, like my hand is so small compared to this bowl. I homemade my own sauce. I don't eat canned sauce. I already don't like the fact that this is super cheesy, so I have to know that I'm putting good ingredients in it, I guess. And then I have the croissants over here. I kind of burnt them a little bit because I'm doing a million things at once and no one helps me, but it's fine. I need to whip up a salad and I need to clean up the kitchen table so we can all sit down together. So, I need to do a spec while this is hot. Just Ready? do it. <laughs> you see this? This is what I call the whoopie pie. All right, all right, stop. Your drink is set. <laughs> oh, you just broke it. Oh, no, you didn't. It's crap. So you, it's crap. Dude, you just lied to everyone. <laughs> <laughs> I thought everyone everyone heard that sound. Oh, it was it did break. It did break, right? Oh right my god, might as well throw up the bell here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Opa! Opa, you see that that's how I put the mooch on the matter. Oh my god. <laughs> Good morning guys, it is now Monday. I slept at Jake's last night. Normally every like two weeks, all the guys here have me cut their hair, so I figured I'd stay last night to wake up this morning to then cut all of their hair. So we do it outside on their balcony, so I just have a chair set up and then I have my clippers and shears and everything that I need to set up here. It's obviously not the same setup that I have in my apartment, but it, it works for all of them. And none of them get their hair washed because they just take a shower right after their haircut. So it makes my life pretty easy. Here we go. Oh, and he's officially buzzed. I just went food shopping as you just saw and I'm so excited because I got some new things. I found these bags of like salad toppers and it's sunflower seeds and then this one is dried cranberry and toasted almond slices. I wanted these for like my oatmeal but I think on a salad too they obviously would be good considering they are salad toppers. So I'll let you guys know how they are in my oatmeal, but I got so many other things. I'm gonna make like big meals this week, I feel like, just to like stock up and put some in the freezer. I got beef broth because I'm going to make a soup. And then I got these huge bags of frozen peas and corn because I think tonight I'm going to make a chicken pot pie. Hi guys, it is now like 5.30. 
Today I woke up like super early to get a bunch of errands done that I had to do like food shopping I had to go print out my resume I had to go return stuff and ship stuff out at the post office So I just woke up super early because of everything going on right now The election is today I think or like we find out I don't know in the next couple of days So everything is being boarded up and it's just like kind of scary out right now I look like crazy right now because I don't have any makeup on and my skin is breaking out so bad right now I think because of the stress and because the air quality here has been so bad because of all the fires but regardless I am making dinner soon and I'm going to make this new recipe it's basically like the inside of a chicken pot pie but without the pie crust and I'm just gonna replace the pie crust with like a biscuit okay so here is everything you need I have my chicken a potato the recipe doesn't call for this but my mom always puts a potato in her recipe so I got that an onion some roasted turkey gravy chicken broth corn the biscuits minced garlic for flavor more spices obviously and then peas carrots and celery I have the chicken cooking and with this specific recipe that I'm looking at it's supposed to be one of those recipes where like you have extra turkey left over from something else and you can add it to a new you know dish and make it like a new dinner I'm just starting this completely from scratch and I'm using chicken instead of turkey and this is like the vegetable medley with the potatoes that's supposed to go inside I'm going to transfer this all over to that pot once this is done and then add the rest of the ingredients which is like the broth so i just added everything in and it looks pretty watery but you have to let it simmer for like 10 to 15 minutes so it thickens and if it doesn't thicken like how you would like to eat it then you can always just add a little bit of flour and that will thicken it up too i have the biscuits in the oven cooking and yeah i think it's gonna taste really good i'm super excited for this I would say I absolutely killed this dish. It looks exactly like the filling that my mom would make in our chicken pot pies. And it tastes just like the same filling that my mom makes. And the biscuit just like adds to the fact that I don't have the crust, so it's perfect. You can literally see the steam coming off this. So I'm gonna finish eating this. I already cleaned up the kitchen while I was waiting for this to cool down. Clearly it didn't cool down enough. I'm going to end this night off here. Good morning guys, it is now Wednesday at 10 a.m. I woke up about an hour ago when I really wanted to wake up at 8 so I could have gone to the gym and just had a super productive morning because I have my interview at 12. But last night I literally was getting so many notifications that there were protests going on and like armed people like near my apartment. I have this app called Citizen and you know, I wasn't gonna get it cause I'm more on like the worrisome side of things already. So I was like, you know, I'd rather not know what's going on outside on these streets of LA. But I ended up getting it cause I was like, you know, maybe it could be helpful if like I'm out doing something and I realize there's something going on next to me, I should probably leave the situation. So I got the app and it was like, an armed man with a metal pole is like 1.5 miles away. And then four armed men with one woman armed like two miles away. I don't know, it was just freaking me out. So I was up most of the night just looking at the app, seeing if there were any updates, like where those people were going. So that was my night. And I knew it was gonna be like that because of the election and everything going on. Like I just had a feeling that it was probably gonna be a bad night for that. So I let myself sleep in and I just took a shower and I'm now getting my makeup ready for my interview. Luckily, they said that I don't need to wear professional attire. I don't need to wear all black and all that stuff, which is kind of nice. This place is a little bit more chill, I guess, when it comes to the LA vibe. It's definitely nice to start out. I feel like in a salon like that, and ease your way into the industry. It's a part-time position, which is amazing because I do have my other clients on the side, so it's kind of nice that I can do both. But I'm hoping that this job will only be for a few months, maybe until like the spring or something, because then I really want to get a job that I really, really want to just like invest my full time into and just 
get like a full-time job somewhere working for someone else but for now i think this is a good transition because it's been so hard to try to find jobs right now with covid it's like every place i apply to like i said they either just call you and they don't have an, a position available or they want you to like start off as like the receptionist and it's like i did not go to 13 months of school and pay for like schooling to then be a receptionist at a salon this job is just perfect because i actually am the stylist there and they give you the clientele so it's kind of nice so i'm gonna finish getting ready and then i'm going to pick out my outfit and get dressed i just finished doing my makeup and my hair i just curled it a little bit i still have my towel on it looks like i'm naked i'm not i realized though that i have to keep a mask on the entire time so i'm like wow i just did a full face of makeup for her to see literally this but anyways, I'm trying to pick out my outfit. They said for me to wear the salon colors, which are yellow, black, gray, and denim, I think we're allowed to wear. So I'm thinking these black jeans with like this little blouse that like scrunches on the side, a belt, and then these little loafers. I need to definitely try this on because that shirt might be too casual and I might have to wear something more blousey but like i only have all black and they said to not wear business attire which is pretty much like all black so i'm gonna try this on and hopefully it turns out cute i mean i think that this is like fine to wear i think it looks professional but also not unprofessional but also not business attire <laughs> everything is like black and gold i just added a gold necklace i'm waiting for my friend sarah who works there to let me know if this is like acceptable for the interview because she already went through it it's 11 o'clock so i have an hour i need to eat something quick and then kind of head my way there i just made breakfast and i am doing avocado toast on an english muffin with a tomato garlic salt and pepper and then just a fried egg i am like rehearsing what i'm saying to the lady <laughs> because like i literally have not gone into an interview in nine months probably back in beginning of march i just don't want to say the wrong thing you know so i'm hoping that something works out because i would love to take this position okay i'm gonna finish eating this and stop ranting so one thing that i did want to talk to you guys about is something new that i just got for myself and they are the take care of or just the care of vitamin packs. I am someone who definitely needs to be taking vitamins all the time, but I never knew which vitamins to take. So I found care of and I took their quiz online. It's super easy. It took me like five minutes and they personalize the vitamin packs for you. So it comes in this box and it is a month supply and they come in these cute little baggies and it says hi becca today's fact historical peanuts have used one of the ingredients in dynamite that's really weird i did not know that but anyways they come with little facts on it which is super cute and then all of the vitamins are in the pack so if you're wondering what i take it comes with this little pamphlet and it says made for becca on it and i take keratin supports nail health and growth Probiotic blend supports gastrointestinal function. I don't know if that's how I said that correctly. Fish oil, I take two of those. It helps maintain a healthy heart. Magnesium, I take two of those. It helps support sleep. Calcium plus supports bone health. And then I take B12 and it's an energy and metabolism booster. I just know that if I went out to CVS and got these vitamins each in their own individual bottle, it probably would have cost me way more than this whole thing costs when it comes personalized. I got my first box, I believe, for $40. And you guys can use my code BMDM3A to get 50% off your first month's order. I will leave the link below for you guys. It's an invite code, so you can send it to anyone. This has been my second month taking them, and I truly, truly love them. I wanted to wait until I kind of got my body used to them before I spoke about them and recommended them to people, but a lot of people have been liking them. And especially because they come in these little packets, it's super easy to just, you know, grab one of these if you're on the go and take them while you're in your car or take them while you're at work or school or anything like that but i'm now going to get ready to leave and i will catch up with you guys later i like can't stop smiling right now <laughs> well, i just finished the interview it went so good i'm obsessed with the salon it's like a gorgeous salon everyone there seemed so nice the girls seemed so nice the way that the salon is ran, everything just seems so amazing. I get obviously my own chair. I become a stylist right away after my training. <sighs> 
I'm so excited. I'm going to stop by Jake's right now because this salon is like right at the end of his street. So I'm just gonna go say hi and then I'm gonna head home. I will see you guys later.